Hey guys, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and today's video is 10 tips for beginning furry YouTubers. Now, I noticed there's a lot of YouTube tutorial type videos out there, but I never found anything that was specifically geared towards furry YouTubers. So for the most part, this video is going to be geared towards getting your channel started, all the little basics about uh, what you need to think about when you first create a YouTube channel, but we're also going to dive into some more specific topics related to being a furry on YouTube. So first things first, you got to figure out what type of content you're going to make. Are you going to talk about video games? Are you going to do vlogging? Are you going to make sketch comedy videos? Whatever you're going to do, just figure out what you're going to do ahead of time. Which brings me to tip number two. You're going to figure out a name. This could be anything from just the name of your fursona, kind of like how I named my channel, or it can be some sort of catchy phrase that you use that kind of describes the type of content that you put on your channel. Whatever you decide to name your channel, just make sure it's true to you and the type of content that you make. Tip number three, you don't need fancy equipment to get started. I get a lot of questions from people asking what types of cameras they need to use and what type of special lighting equipment they should have, but the answer really is to get started on YouTube, you don't need anything fancy. For the most part, you should be able to just do this with a camera phone and a cheap 10 to $15 tripod you can get on the internet. Heck, even my gaming setup that I use, it looks really nice when it's all edited up, but it actually just uses a webcam and a $15 monopod I found on Amazon. And this brings me to tip number four. If you are going to invest in equipment, get a decent microphone before you buy a camera. You can get a pretty decent lapel mic on Amazon for like $15. For the most part, the Rode Video Mic Go and the Rode Video Micro are really solid microphones. Also for on your desktop, if you're doing video games, you're gonna wanna get a blue yellow or a blue snowball. I've used all of these microphones at one point and they've all worked wonders, especially considering the price point. All of these you should be able to find on the internet for under $100. But again, you don't need to buy a fancy microphone. You can just as easily make decent videos using a $15 lapel mic you find on Amazon. So great, you've figured out the name of your channel, the type of content you're gonna put up there, and you've got all your equipment set up. Now you're gonna record your first video and then you gotta edit it. For the first several videos I ever did on YouTube, I used iMovie to edit them. It's a free software that comes on every Mac computer, and if you have a Windows computer, there is Windows Movie Maker for PC. Now Windows Movie Maker used to be pretty choppy, but I heard they improved it a lot recently. Camtasia Studio is also a really good software. I actually use it for all of my video game recordings because it's really good at capturing the screen and a camera simultaneously and has a lot of great tools for editing those together. So if you're doing video game stuff, check out Camtasia. That's a really good one. And like I said, there's Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere. Those are great industry level editing softwares, but they're really expensive and if you're just getting started, you don't necessarily need to use them right now. Alright, now that we got all the educational crazy YouTube stuff out of the way, let's talk about furry stuff. So tip number six. Don't do it just to get popular. I know it can be easy to fall down the rabbit hole of wanting to strive for popularity, and validation feels awesome, but you gotta remember, if you're gonna do something art-related, even if it's just making videos on YouTube, you're gonna wanna do it because it's fun, because you enjoy it, and because it's a great way to express yourself and share stories. Tip number seven, you don't need a fursuit. I mean, yeah, fursuits are really cute, and I will admit, I watch a lot of furry YouTubers that primarily make videos in fursuit, but you don't need one to get started on a YouTube channel. Y you don't. It's, it's totally okay to make videos without a fursuit on and still talk about furry stuff. Fursuits are really cool, and it's totally okay if you want to add one to your YouTube channel, but just letting you know, you don't have to have one to get started. I mean, yeah, it's really fun to watch a person jump around in a cute animal costume, but if your content's good, you don't need a fursuit to make it work. Just get started and be you. Tip number eight. People are gonna hate you because you're a furry. I've had a lot of really messed up comments on my YouTube channel, and uh, I never really engage them. I've never once replied to a troll or replied to a hate comment, because most of the time, if you just ignore them, they go away. Watch, just for saying that, I'm gonna get a ton of hate comments on this video. <laughs> Tip number nine. You suck. And that's okay. Everybody sucks. Everybody you watch on YouTube is still learning every single day, and anyone who makes decent videos has probably done so with lots of training and lots of practice. Please don't feel discouraged if you make a video and it doesn't turn out as well as you wanted it to, or if it doesn't get a ton of views on the internet. The first videos I ever made on YouTube were terrible, like they literally didn't make any sense. But the important thing was, I was having fun making them, and they made my friends laugh. Just keep practicing. As long as you're having fun with it and your friends are enjoying it, then life is good. Never stop wanting to improve. Tip number 10. 
for yourself. I know this sounds a lot more simple than it actually is, but it's really easy to get caught up in creating this online persona that you've built, and then essentially losing yourself in that process. Now there's nothing wrong with emulating people you admire. I emulate people I look up to all the time. If you make stuff that you enjoy, and you're having fun making, then it's ultimately going to show on camera, and your audience is going to latch onto that a lot more. So just be yourself! So thanks for watching 10 Tips for Beginning Furry YouTubers, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below. Or if you guys have any tips for beginning furry YouTubers that I didn't cover in this video, go ahead and leave a comment as well. I do read every single comment, and I try to reply to as many as possible, so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And until next time, I'm Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. 